Hi everyone. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to fold this origami crab that I made. It's a fairly simple model. It just takes a little more uh, practice than you might expect from some of my beginner ones. But uh, I'm sure you'll catch on. So, I used just printer paper for this model. Um, uh, eight and a half by eight and a half. It works good. So, we're going to make what's called a square base. So, fold it diagonally. Unfold it, do that again. Okay, unfold that, turn the paper over, and we're going to do some folds here, horizontal folds. Unfold it, do another horizontal fold. Okay, now using the creases we just made, we're going to collapse the paper like this into a square base, or as some people say, a preliminary base, because it's a pretty classic base. Okay, now just take it and just fold it in half lightly. We're going to use that as a marker. Just, just like that. You don't even have to. There you go. Okay. Now take the top point here and fold it down to that center crease. Crease it well. Okay. Now we're going to make a sink fold. This is an open sink, so. Go ahead and just unfold everything here. Now with the sink fold, you're just going to take the sides and you're going to reverse everything. So make sure to mount and fold all the way. And uh, we're going to be doing a lot of sink folds in this design, so get ready. <laughs> so, once you get it all reversed like that, then you can bring the sides in. Like that. Okay. Okay, now take the top flap here and fold it to the middle. Do the same thing on the other. Just like that. Now you're going to reverse these folds. going to take this paper here and you're going to fold it up and you're going to crease it right along here just to the center part. Undo that and do it again over here. Just like that. Now using the creases we've already made we're going to bring it together and fold it over to the side. Do that this way too. So now we're going to squash fold it, just like this. Okay, now turn the model over. We're going to do the same steps again, so fold it into the center. Unfold it and reverse fold these. Just 
I got a little bit inspired by uh, Gerwin Sturm's uh, four-leaf clover, and so that's where some of the inspiration came for this design, but I made it all myself. Okay, so now we're going to take the center part here, you're going to open the center here, and we're going to pull it down just like this. See that? Oops. I don't know how that happened. Okay, so it was like this, and then I pulled it down like that. Okay, turn the model over. Now we're going to take these side parts here and we're going to fold them up a little bit and then we're going to make another squash fold. Okay, now turn the model over. So the next step is we're going to fold each corner and to the center. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to unfold each one of these points here, and now we're going to make a sink fold on each one of these, hiding them. So we're pretty much going to have to unfold the entire model, pretty much, and try and do it. So just bear with me, it takes a little bit of time to start on each square. So let's we'll start with this one. And you can go ahead and, once you get it creased there, you can try and collapse it somewhat. It's a little tricky since there's so many of these. That I'll show you, but uh, yeah, do that. And then it'll, it'll kind of come undone when you're trying to do the next one. But uh, just try and slowly do each one.
Okay, so we've got them all preliminary folded here. We just gotta collapse it, so... Just... Okay, so that's what it looks like when you've successfully made all the closed sinks, actually open sink folds. Sometimes paper will get a little bit wonky, but so this is uh, part one of the tutorial. I'm going to make another video for part two, but uh, thanks for watching. Um, part two is coming up next, and I'll show you the detailing for how to make the crab. Okay, bye-bye.